I saw a review yesterday of an American Standard Version Bible, and that inspired me to do my own. Uh, yesterday's review was by Bible Believing Christian of a uh, fairly recent publication of a verse by verse uh, American Standard Version. I'll be looking at an older one. Uh, the box you see here is from a Star Bible Publications um, book that I bought in 2009. Um, with the format in paragraphs, twin columns, with center column references. It uh, is called the Teacher's Edition. I'll show you here the ISBNs. This uh, book is no longer available, at least not at the moment. Um, I've, I've noticed over the years that Star Bible has them for a period of time and then does not. Uh, in addition, I'm going to talk briefly and maybe show as well an older book that I purchased from the same company in 1987. This is um, Sunday School Teacher's Edition, only this one is in genuine top grain leather. The 2009 one is simply in genuine leather. The 1987 one is brown. And you see there the ISBNs for that. The 1987 one they called an 89TL. The 2009 one they call an A89TL. But I'm also going to confuse things further by showing you a third book. This is uh, what I believe to be the original for both of them. I picked this up at a, an antique store in Clarksville, Tennessee oh, maybe 15 years ago for a couple of dollars. It's a Nelson American Standard Version Teacher's Edition with self-pronouncing text. Um, it was owned at various times by Helen D. Coveney of uh, Wilkesburg, Pennsylvania and Mrs. Norman Akers of Sipes Mill, Pennsylvania. I used Ancestry.com to find out that Mrs. Akers was named Margaret E. She was born in 1877, died in 1951, and was married in 1912. So this book uh, dates back sometime to the first half of the 20th century. It was made especially for the Presbyterian Bookstore in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It was not printed on very good paper. It's yellowing quite a lot. Paper weight is something like 45 GSM, so there's very little show through. It was uh, over sewn on both uh, the left and the right. The original version here is, if you compare it to Times New Roman type, it's about a 7.5 point. It has maps inset, text of both the Old and the New Testament with maps printed on one side throughout the book. Cyclopedic index, a Bible dictionary, and concordance of the American Standard Version. Then at the back it has an index to Nelson's Bible Atlas, and then color maps. So very uh, fairly complete book. I've wrapped it here in saran wrap and plastic tape because it has sort of a dirty feel to it as the letter, the leather is crumbling. But Art Guild edges, you can see the gold over red. It was kind of common in those days. The, uh, the book I'll be talking about a bit more is this one. This is the 2009 one, the one that I purchased in 2009 from Star Bible. And it's essentially that book that I just showed from Nelson with the print enlarged to be equivalent to about a nine point times New Roman. But before I show that, I'm going to show the brown one from 1987. This is in top, top green leather and it has a single ribbon marker, it has the pasted down liner which appears to be some sort of paper. It has a couple of pages of thick paper and you can see the stitching line for the oversewn, the oversewing, so it is oversewn. Star Bible Publications, Fort Worth, Texas. 
no hint here of where it was printed, so my guess is it was printed in the United States. It has a preface. So uh, the preface is largely the American Committee's um, complaints about how the English Committee didn't take their changes. The American Standard Version is a revision of the revised version that the English Revised Version of 1881 to 1885 and uh, to learn about the translation principles for the American Standard Version, really need, one really needs to read the um, revised version authors, translators, uh, introductions to the Old and the New Testament. You can find those in the Cambridge Interlinear Bible, which has the revised version text and the authorized version text, one atop the other one. So you see this is very similar to the, the uh, Nelson book, except it has the index to the Bible atlas before the text of the book, then the index to the Bible atlas is completed at the end, and they put it on heavy paper back here, very heavy uh, waxy paper, and then one has the same color maps. Um, this one was beginning to wear out and I replaced it. Well, I, I was going to buy a, another new one to use in addition, take some of the wear off it. And I got this one and I must say I was a bit disappointed because this is a thicker but tougher leather. It's only genuine leather, it's not top grain leather. Um, there's only one page, again it's paste down, but there's only one heavy page of paper here. There's no sewing, <clears throat> and instead of color maps at the back of the book, one has these really three poor quality, four poor quality black and white maps at the beginning. At the back of the book, no maps at all. It ends with the concordance. Um, this one is, this is the 2009, the one that I've seen most recently. This one is proudly printed in China. The, uh, the paper is about the same as in the 1987 version, edition. <clears throat> the 1987 edition and this one are both printed on paper that's about uh, 32 GSM. It's about a nine-point font equivalent to Times New Roman. You can see that the uh, spacing is fairly good. There are something like uh, 38, 39 characters per line. So that's a, a reasonable width. It's in a paragraph format. The references in the center. If you compare these to the New American Standard Version, you have the sense that what happened is that the New American Standard uh, Bible uh, preparers, those who prepared the references, used this as a base and um, then made additions. The Print quality is fairly uniform throughout. The 2009 print is actually a bit darker than that from 1987, but it's not uniform everywhere. I'll attempt to show that here. So we have Sermon on the Mount on the left from Matthew 5. I'll go over here just a few pages. So I can show you Matthew 13 on the right. Matthew 5 on the left. And I think you can see there that uh, Matthew 13 is considerably darker than Matthew 5. The book is use the, the old units. 
about eight and a half inches tall, roughly six and a quarter inches wide, and the thickness is about an inch and an eighth. The uh, American Standard Version is uh, very literal. A few years ago I did a study of about 15 different translations in the New Testament and I compared them to their Greek basis. So for the King James and the New King James I compared to the Textus Receptus uh, to the others I used my modern eclectic uh, New Testaments and where there were variations and a translation would follow a variation I would give them credit for it. Uh, but uh, for 200 verses in the New Testament uh, selected at random I went through and examined and um, I marked what I called a liberty whenever a translation deviated from the Greek. Deviations included such things as including a proper name when a pronoun was used, um, just, a, just about anything, uh, where the Greek said, and he spoke to them saying, if the modern translation said, he said instead, then that was considered a deviation as well. The American Standard Version came out and my my accounting to be the most literal. Um, the King James Version and the New King James Version were beyond, behind that and the New American Standard Version, the earlier edition, was uh, in fourth place. The revised mid-1990s New American Standard came in after that. And I think if you if you examine the New American Standard Version, you can see how non-literal it is by simply looking at the text notes in this, if you have a center column version, where it says literally and then it gives you the literal Greek. The American Standard Version, you'll find the literal readings are, uh, are in the text. One other thing to say is that uh, the, uh, the New Testament is uh, largely based on the the Uncial manuscripts that w that were discovered more recently than the King James, uh, the Alexandrinus, the Sinaiticus, and the Vaticanus. Um, it does not rely on the more modern scholarship from those ver those uh, papyri that have been uh, discovered and and come to note more more recently than that. Um, that just about sums it up. This is American Standard Version. At some point I think I will do a review of Nelson's um, American Standard Version, which is also a twin column, center column reference Bible. It's somewhat larger in format.